Hey, folks, welcome to In the Money Stocks. Dot com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Monday, October 22nd, 2018. I wanted to bring to your attention a major alert. I am a huge fan of these stocks right now. I know everyone else hates them. I'm a buyer and I do have them. All right, GM, Ford, two of my favorites here. You might say, holy crap, you know, these stocks are down so much. Yeah, sure, that's why I'm buying them. Not only that, but they pay a hefty dividend and the stocks are hitting major levels. You saw a reversal on Friday, a mega reversal in golfing bar. This is where to buy them. All right. Now I'm not telling you to go long for 10 years. I'm saying that in the short term, these are going to bounce and they're going to bounce nicely, at least 10% on GM and Ford, in my opinion. So get ready for them to take off. You can see the price action here. This is the intraday 10 minute chart on GM. This is Friday's price action. Look at the gap down and reversal and inside bar bullish consolidation. Today, the gapped up making a higher high you fell back down, and then look at this beautiful move, all while the spiders, take a look at the S&P here, look at the spiders, they're kind of down down on the day, down a buck, about 4.4%, and this is all going on, this turn up is all going on, this is big, smart money accumulating, folks, you got to be on the cutting edge here, again, this is to me, this is a no-brainer, you're getting these at multi, multi-year lows, you're getting dividend payers that are high players, so if you hold it into the dividend over the next couple, couple months or so, you're going to get a hefty little check. Uh, in your account, and you should get some upside. All right, one of the be beautiful things about this was when Ford got downgraded on Friday, it opened lower. It also caused GM to open lower, but there's a trick here. When you get a downgrade on a stock, and let's go to Ford here. Let's go to Ford and let's go to the daily chart here. Let's flip over to the daily. There we go. When you get a downgrade, all right, so here's, look at the chart first off. It was $12, and here was your downgrade. It opened and flushed, and then Friday it reversed. This is the daily chart, by the way. So this is Friday's entire price action right here. Here's today right here. But the point is this. When a downgrade occurs at a multi-year low, okay, when the stock is down 30% or more in recent trading history, okay, meaning over the last six months to a year or so, there is a 90-plus percent chance that a low pivot is going to be put in. And the key is to understand what's going on. When you get a downgrade at the lows here, this is a signal. First off, it causes weak hands to dump, which is why the stock opens lower. But it's a signal to the institutions that are buddy-buddy that it's a buying opportunity. Basically, the analyst is doing a favor for their buddies by downgrading the stock because they know it's going to gap down and get the lowest point, and the big boys will have volume to buy. And that's what you're seeing here. In fact, you see it on the upside. Think about Amazon recently. Amazon, remember when it was above 2000 per share? All right? When it was all the way up here, folks, and all the way up here, this is when you got analyst upgrades. And sure enough, it was so that the big boys had volume to sell into. And look at the stock now. Amazon's sharply off the 2000 plus 1 billion, 1 trillion level of market cap and all the way in. You see this day in, day out, folks. Um, recently, Toll had the same thing. I think Toll is a great buy down here. Not that I'm a fan of the housing market, but for a short-term swing trade bounce, probably the low is at or near. All right, This is how it's done, folks. The big boys are playing games with you. The downgrades on Ford, for instance... Look at that reversal day. Here was a downgrade. You would say, well, the stock actually closed flat on Friday after a downgrade. And you say, well, why did that happen? Well, because so small money dumped early. The big boys bought it all up. All right, GM. Look at the GM chart here. All right, here, same thing. On the downgrade on Ford, it opened lower. It actually closed positive. Look at it today, up 24 cents, continuing to climb. All right, again, these are a steal of a deal in my humble opinion here. This is what the big boys are doing. You want to be on the right side of the trade. The trade now is to go long Ford and GM over the next weeks or so. I believe, again, you will see a sharp bounce on these stocks. They're oversold. You'll see buyers come in because they're going to be following the institutional money. You'll probably get upgrades soon on GM and Ford as the big boys. And once they're in, they're going to want to upgrade so you get the pop in the stock. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if like for, for GM, honestly, uh, minimally 33, but probably goes all the way close to 34 and a half right here, the 50 MA. Uh, and that's probably just short term, which would be about 10% right there. On Ford, if we flip over to Ford, let me punch that in here real quick. On Ford, minimally the 20, but I still think the 50 MA, I mean, you could go all the way up here. I mean, that's a beautiful move. You get from 840 here today to 940, that's over 10%. And that's where I, I think it's going there. All right, so again... You've been alerted. That's all I can do here is let you know what I'm doing, let you know what I believe, what I think, what I read in the charts using the PPT methodology, proprietary techniques that alert us to certain things like this. Um, 
and you can come get it as a free trial, free trial here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Come join the Research Center if you want trades like this. Get involved, folks. This is where it's at. Money consistently made, 80% success rate. Check out the track record. This speech for itself, verified by an independent body. It's there for you. Take a look. Take